Good morning, South Amboy Elementary School. It's Mindful Monday with Mrs. Masella. It's February 27th already. I can't believe March is two days away. This is going by very quickly. So let me start with a little message to the grown-ups first. Somehow, my friends, I got a week behind in our list. So for my grown-up friends who have this list that Mrs. Buchanan was nice enough to make for us, we are now on the back of there and I am caught up somewhere I lost a week. So I'm sorry if I've been confusing you with having a different breath than maybe the week that you were looking at. So now we're back on track with the correct week. And our breath this week is one of my favorites, especially for when I'm feeling very frustrated and maybe even some anger is starting to build up. I love this breath because it helps me to calm down even faster. It's the cooling breath and that cool air that we bring in as we're breathing in uh, with our mouth open just cools down the body a little bit faster and it helps me to calm down a little quicker. So if you are feeling frustrated or maybe even a little bit angry one day, you might want to try to use the cooling breath. So just as a reminder, the cooling breath is um, with the mouth open and you can either curl your tongue like this not everybody can curl their tongue like that and you look a little silly so maybe you don't want to do it and um if you don't want to do it that way then you can also do it by just making your lips look like a little donut and quite honestly when i do it that way i get even more cold air so i like that one so that's actually how i'm going to do my cooling breaths but remember you want to make sure you're in a comfortable position and feet on the floor and hands comfortable body is relaxed. Let's loosen our shoulders a little bit this time. I felt my shoulders were tight. All right, my friends. So with the cooling breath, we're going to go. Everything is using the mouth this week. We're going to breathe in and hold it for a couple of seconds and then exhale. Okay, let's do a few of those together. Cooling breath. I noticed my cheeks puffed out a little bit when I was exhaling. You might notice that about yourself too. So pay attention to what's happening with your, your face as you're breathing in and out this week. Those two felt really good. Let's do one or two more. Last one. So like I said, that's one I use for when I'm feeling a little bit frustrated or maybe even a little bit getting a little bit angry um, or any of the other ones that you are comfortable with. So I want to talk about being brave today and being proud today. We all are different and special and unique. I know that we have, I learned when I was in school that no two snowflakes are alike. Well, I don't know about you, but I've never actually seen one tiny little snowflake by itself because if you try to hold it, it melts instantly. But I'm going to trust the scientists who have ways of checking that out and no two snowflakes are alike. So that's what is true about all of us. None of us is exactly like the person next to us. Even if we have an identical twin, there's something different about those two people. And what makes us different is what makes us so beautiful and special. So that's what I want to be focusing in on today is to feel proud of who you are, what you do, what you can do, and what you can't do. And that's okay because maybe you can't do it now, but maybe you will do it. And you can do it if you try. So it's about feeling good about ourselves no matter what. Okay. So that's my message to you this week is I am proud to be me. And we all have great qualities. And then we have other qualities that maybe we don't love as much. But guess what? 
everything about you is what makes you special and that's why we love having you at this here at our school because you make our school a better place so logan yes you make our school a better place jackson i see you you make our school a better place too buddy and miss emma yes thank you thank you thank you and last but not least olivia thank you for making our school a better place and i want all of you not just my four friends i was just talking to but all of you to say that with me i am proud to be me say it with me again i am proud to be me and on this last one i want you to really feel it deep in your heart and i hope that you believe it and know it to be true i am proud to be me I'm proud to know all of you and so happy to share this time with you. I hope you have a great week and I will see you next Monday and it's going to be March already. Bye everybody. Have a great week.